Hi, I'm Josh Herschel, National Infrastructure Market Manager with Advanced Drainage Systems. We're a water management solutions provider with 60 plus facilities across North and South America. We're here today to talk about ASCE's infrastructure grade of a D plus and the gap that they've identified of $126 billion needed before 2020. We're here to talk about strategies that municipalities and engineering firms have implemented across the country. So specifically, we want to talk about performance-based specifications, open material competition, and post-installation inspection. Performance-based specifications are exactly what the name says. We're asking the engineer and the owner to evaluate the performance characteristics on that particular project. What we mean is let's take a look at the native soils, the water table, let's take a look at the effluent running through the pipe, what types of internal and external pressures are we expecting to see, what does the effluent look like? So when the engineer and the owner take a look at those specifications, figure out what the performance requirements are going to be, and then take a look at the pipe materials available within the marketplace that meet those performance characteristics. Once the engineer outlines that, includes them in the material specifications, we can then look at open material competitive bidding. When we talk about open material competition, what we're talking about is the engineer including those specifications and then including all of those pipe materials in one single bid tab where the contractor can include accurate bidding information for the cost of the material, the pipe, and the installation. Organizations like NCHRP, Plastic Pipe Institute, PVC Pipe Association, and the National Corrugated Steel Pipe Association also support open competitive bidding. From the federal level, the House of Representatives and the Senate both currently have bills on the floor supporting and requiring open bidding competition. When open competitive bids are included, we can see up to a, a savings of 50%. We're not suggesting that municipalities take that 50% savings and put it in their pocket. What we're suggesting is they take that 50% savings and they close that infrastructure gap. We recognize that there's a gap between available funding and the amount of projects that they need completed. So imagine if we had a project that was 5,000 feet of pipe, if we had 50% savings, what if we could bid 7,000 feet of pipe on that particular project? After the project's bid and during construction, we're also recommending post-installation inspection. This is a strategy municipalities across the country have employed in order to ensure that their performance-based specifications are met. AASHTO recommends post-installation on nearly 100% of projects within 30 days of installation. AASHTO LRFD bridge construction specifications specifically lay out deflection limits for thermoplastic pipe, deflection limits for corrugated metal pipe, and crack limitations for reinforced concrete pipe. One one hundredth of an inch to one tenth of an inch requires an engineering analysis. This methodology has been proven time after time. Agencies like FAA and the Army Corps of Engineers and state DOTs and municipalities across the country have employed all of these three strategies and been successful on projects. They've been successful with these on airport projects, municipal projects, and private commercial development across the country. ADS offers many solutions in this environment, from our flagship N12 polyethylene pipe to our high-performance HP Storm polypropylene pipe. ADS is here to close the infrastructure gap and raise America's grade. Thank you.